Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier, and no, I am not lying when I say that. This baby-faced gentleman that you see in front of you is indeed the real Markiplier. And, uh, when I'm unbearded, and I've already got a little stubble growing, but when I'm unbearded, I suddenly drop back to who I was in the year 2012. And I did this on the charity live stream that we just did this weekend, and, uh, it was- it was really fun. I mean, uh, excuse also the makeup and the gold in my hair, don't mind any of that, that's coming out for a video, uh, later this week, but I just wanted to take the time to say hi to you guys again, and I don't know, I thought it was a good opportunity to kind of reintroduce myself, because honestly I haven't done that in a while, and some of you may wonder why I would need to reintroduce myself, but I've always felt that it was important to do that because it's very easy to become a caricature of yourself, and what I mean by that, it's very easy for people to assume that they know who you are unless you keep up with that idea. And, and the idea of who you are is sometimes a very hard concept to lock down, but I'll start with the basics. Hi, my name is Mark, my middle name is Edward, my last name is Fishbach, I was born on Oahu, Hawaii, in Honolulu, on a military base, uh, to my dad and mom, and, like, oddly enough, that is a similar story for me as well. I was not graced upon this earth by the gods, as some people have, uh, suspected, but, um, I'm a former biomedical engineering student. I've been doing YouTube for over five years now, and it's been an incredible ride thus far. And what really brought this about is not only did I go babyface and I, I, I look exactly like I did back in those days, uh, but also we watched um, one of my old vlogs back on stream. It was for my, uh, my birthday. Uh, oddly enough, I, I just turned 23, I think, and... Um, like, on that stream, I said some really silly-sounding things at the time. Or, or now they do, looking back, I was talking about the statistics of the channel, and I was talking about how I decided that I wanted to be a big YouTuber someday. When I grew up, I was gonna be a big YouTuber. And, uh, it, it was really interesting to see, because at the age of 23, like, I had already, like, grown up. I had already grown up at that point, or at least I thought I did until I got to that point. Like, I had worked an office job. I wore a tie to work every day, and I sat in a cubicle doing engineering work. And I thought that was gonna be my life. And I was- I was okay with that at the time, and then I found something else that led me into doing YouTube. And I can talk about that, or you can watch some videos that I've made in the past that talk about that. But long story short, I had a medical problem. I had a tumor. I got that removed, and that led me to trying to make videos for a living. And it worked. It really did. And five years later, I have had more success than I could ever hope for. And in the journey, We've managed to build one of the greatest communities I've ever seen anywhere. And I am so incredibly proud of what you guys have done, and I'm so incredibly, incredibly proud of you guys joining us for these streams every single weekend, and I'm so incredibly proud of you guys continuing to champion the causes that we talk about, because it's not just about the fact that we're able to raise more money than ever before, and, and I don't know the final count from this weekend, but I'll let you guys know as soon as I find that out, but it, it, it's not just about that. It, it's not just about us having these live streams every month and that's the end of it. It's the fact that it echoes beyond what we do on that day. Like, the, the resounding success of those live streams come, yes, from the donations being made and the tangible good that you see out of that, but also from how it affects other people that want to do those things. The ripple that it has. And I'm not just saying, like, I'm not taking credit for any of this because I've always said that it's you guys that manage to do it, and it's the community that rallies around what we do. But it's so amazing to see it ripple and continue and inspire generations to come to do these amazing things and to raise money for charity and go out there and try to change the world. And coming from the perspective of reintroducing you, myself to you guys is the idea of what I want to be when I grow up. And that sounds like a silly thing to say, but it's true. Like, what do I want to be when I grow up? 
Cause I've only been doing this for five years. I'm 27 years old, which is old by some standards, but if you ask anyone older than me, I am still incredibly young. And it, and it even looks it right now with my baby face, but I'm still incredibly young and I have so many other ambitions for what I want to do and it all revolves around this incredible community that we have here. And I am so, so excited. Like, every day I'm excited for the future. Every day I'm excited for what's to come. Every day I'm excited to, to, to make new challenges for myself and exceed them, or not meet them, or fail and try again, but never stop creating, you know, in the endeavor. And that's one of the most beautiful things that I can see coming out of the community is creation. Like you guys going out there and making things and starting your own channels and starting your own art projects and finding new ways to blaze your trail and go out there. And, 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 and I see that as just a little piece of what I did in the beginning of all this craziness. And, and I'm really happy. I don't know, I'm, I'm just really happy to be here. And, and to, admittedly, things have been crazy on my end because we've been moving offices because like we said on the stream, in case you missed it, the last office that we had, it was very nice looking, but it was horrifying. Like every single area in that office was horror. Like there was a bug wall where bugs would just start crawling out of the wall at random. You never know when a centipede was about to start coming out of there. There was a wall that not only flooded, but any computer equipment that you would ever put in that corner would die. Inevitably, we went through three different computers. We resurrected a computer twice and put it back in the same computer corner and it just blew up each and every time. It just blew up. We have no idea why. So it's been crazy trying to move offices to uh, this new one. Then we're going to get it set up for the next stream real nice and you're going to see that. But just thank you guys. Thank you guys for holding on to the hope that we can make the world a better place. And if I had to summarize what I want to be when I grow up, it would be... I want to change the world. I don't just want to make a small impact on the world, I want to change the world. And I can't do that alone. I never could. I never would be able to do that alone. But now, in this community, I have an opportunity. And I have a responsibility to guide you guys and hopefully point you guys in the right direction. And even if it comes down to the point where I am not the one who's guiding you, and it's you who's guiding me, then that's what it comes to. But either way, I want to change the world. I want to make a lasting impact on it. Hopefully for the better, by the way. This is all for the better. Not saying change the world for the worst, but change the world for the better and make a difference today and tomorrow and, and and we talked about it on the stream and the idea that we'll make changes that ripple beyond our own lives that when our time comes and goes we'll know that the generations that follow us will follow in our footsteps and be able to lead themselves down a path to a brighter future and that is a beautiful idea and that's what I want in these silly videos that I make, and I make silly videos, comes something more profound and more amazing than I could have ever hoped for. So just thank you everybody so much for watching. I don't think I'm gonna keep the baby face. I, I, I do like the beard. Uh, we did it for a very specific reason that you're gonna see uh, very soon, probably this Friday, I believe, but it's really, really, really cool to be in the middle of the most amazing time in my life and I believe I'm in the middle of it because it's it's astonishing it really is the things that I can do now and the things that we can do together and I'm I'm grateful for that every single day so thank you everybody so much for watching and as always I will see you in the next video Bye-bye! Bye! Bye-bye!